On January 19th, former Brewster County Constable Cornelio C. Vega, who was running for sheriff, was driving down Holland Avenue when he noticed a deputy sheriff's vehicle parked at the liquor store. He decided to videotape the officer buying alcohol. Rusty! What you just bought, is that for you or for the sheriff's office? Cigars? No, the bottle you just put in the back of your vehicle. Put a in there. Oh, yes, sir, I got you since you were coming out of the door. Are you lying to me? Is that what you're doing? Rusty, why don't you open the back door so I can see what you just purchased here at the liquor store? No, sir. I got it on camera. Bottle in the bag. Why don't you open the door so I can see what you purchased? Is it illegal? Just what illegal? I don't understand. Well, I'm just asking you. I don't understand what you're talking about. What? Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to fall into you. Putting your hands on me? Well, I had to get out of the way. These little people need to get in the picture. Yeah, I saw what you bought. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Connie, you Thank you. You have a good one, Rusty. You too, Connie. According to Sheriff Ronnie Dotson, Deputy Sheriff Rusty Taylor frequents the liquor store on a regular basis to purchase his cigars. It is apparently the only place in Alpine that sells that particular cigar. According to Dotson, the purchase of alcohol by deputies is not against the law, but it is against his department's policy. The sheriff's department has received complaints before about Taylor frequenting the local liquor store while on duty, but no evidence has ever been presented to show he was actually procuring alcohol. Dotson, who doesn't smoke or drink, said that an officer purchasing liquor is not against the law. It is against his own department's policy. After seeing the video, his office referred the issue to the Texas Rangers. Vega, who is running for sheriff, has called for a civil advisory committee or internal affairs department. Vega wants to increase accountability when it comes to a serious offense in either the jail or complaint against a deputy. Tell me a little bit about what happened that day. Yes, on January the 19th at about 3.25 p.m., I happened to be driving by a liquor store on the East Highway 90. When I uh, took a glance to uh, the liquor store, I noticed that there was a county vehicle a deputy's uh, Tahoe. So I went around the block to, to uh, observe what was going on. And at that same time, I pulled out my uh, video camera to uh, make sure that, uh, that the uh, deputy wasn't doing what I figured he was doing because I had seen him in the past purchasing alcohol. At that time, I did videotape him coming out with a bottle in the sack. I get off my vehicle, I confront him, and he denied the fact that he had bought any alcohol. Instead, he was showing me a pack of cigars. During the recording, I did keep my distance from the officer. And uh, before I knew it, he, he approached me and, uh, and he, he did uh, elbow me right, right on my chest. And uh, it escalated to a little more to where I have it all on camera, all on video. And uh, I believe that he did commit a crime. And I'm looking forward to... Uh, disciplinary action against the officer. So what do you expect for disciplinary action on, and what did you do after the incident? Did you report it? Well after the incident I did go to the Alpine Police Department. I filed a statement and I filed charges against him which uh, uh, was referred to a uh, Texas Ranger and I'm still waiting on, on, on the Texas Rangers results. Uh, but I do ask the, for the officer to be disciplined as far as him uh, terminating his, uh, his position as a deputy of Brewster County and hopefully to get his TICLO license revoked.